Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm geeking out because I came up with, I think, one of the best ideas that I have ever had. I don't really like upload that consistently because it's hard for me to like get ideas. So I'll just like cook food. Um, I'll just cook food on the regular from my animals and like it's mostly just like making like chicken and rice or something or just like boiling vegetables and I'm like this is so boring like anyone can do this well I mean anyone can do anything that I'm doing but like I don't feel like it's as there's a lot of creative like outlet going into it you know what I mean so for a while like um, when I make videos I have to plan out everything first and then do all the research into it first and like really like I just try to be like as creative as possible so then I get into a rut because I'm like I feel like I'm always pushing myself to like my creativity limits and then after the video is done then I'm just like well I'm exhausted you know um but I came up with a great idea so I am addicted to TikTok and a lot of my FYP is, is consisting of like spiritual and like energy and like zodiac signs. So because of my TikTok page and I see like all this inspiration from them, I'd be like, it'd be such a cool idea if I were to do zodiac themed recipes. And so um, because Sagittarius is coming up soon, hopefully I want this uploaded by like the 23rd or the 24th, like the very, very beginning of the um, Sagittarius season. But I was going to start um, with Sagittarius themed food. I'll edit and make a, a playlist for this, maybe like Zodiac Trends or something like that. But my plan is every single week, um, I will have, oh, sorry, I'm making tea, excuse me. Anyway, so I was gonna have every single week, I was gonna upload um, a video corresponding to like, if it's gonna be a soup fast salad, an appetizer, an entree, and then finally a dessert. Like I said, mentioned earlier, I'm gonna start with my saggies. Um, and I, th I think what I'm gonna do is for every single video, because it's sectioned off by like um, food type or like food group, I don't know how, what you would, how you would differentiate between an entree and an appetizer, but because it's being organized by that, um, in each dish, that's the word, each dish is gonna be corresponding with a certain um, part of the lore behind each zodiac. So um, what's coming up first I'm going to be making blueberry bowls and also again everything is going to be um, pet safe, pet friendly. I'm going to include information about which animals this is good for. I'm going to be including serving sizes, um, health information and calories, like how all the other videos have that. But it'll just be like a little extra like cute stuff and um, I don't know, it'll just be like pretty and cute. First, anyway, the first dish I'm going to be making are blueberry bowls. Um, it's going to be, ha it's going to have blueberry, blueberries, goat milk. Um, peanut butter, bananas, and then um, I'm rather than chia seeds, I'm I'm crumbling up um, FIFA's uh, kibble. I'm using that in a blender, and I'm gonna like sprinkle that on top as a garnish. I feel like I'm so excited. I'm talking too fast. And I'm stumbling over my words. I'm sorry if I sound more illiterate than I normally do. So because the ingredients I'm using are you know the blueberries, the bananas, the fruits, and the peanut butter, and then I'm garnishing it with dog food, obviously this is a dog safe recipe. Um, this is also good for puppies. You can kind of get away with this for cats, it's because um, blueberries are a nice antioxidant for them, but if you are using this for cats, just don't give them too much because again, they're obligate carnivores and they can't properly, or their bodies aren't designed to digest plant matter. Hey, I'm just popping in real quick. Um, so the original recipe would also be safe for parakeets and parrots if you, to re if you were to replace the goat milk with water and then also the kibble with um, a healthy and safe bird seed. And I also ended up replacing the banana for egg anyway, so this extra protein would make this recipe healthier for dogs, cats, puppies, and kittens. Okay, thank you. Um, but okay, I'll get right into the video. So. A lot of what I read about Sagittarius's were that they're like whimsical and vibrant and have this childlike, wondrous energy about them. So I really wanted this first dish to represent that side. Smoothie bowls are whimsical in the sense that you can throw in like a bunch of different um, fruits and like foods and vegetables and stuff together and it is really busy but everything still works really well together. Just like Saggies, these bowls at their staple are fun and lively but at their core they're unique and individualistic. To start off, I mixed 21 blueberries, 1 fourth cup of FIFA's dog food, and 1 tablespoon of smooth, zero sugar peanut butter in a food processor. I want to say I added a cup of goat's, half a cup of goat's milk, but I didn't measure it, as the sole purpose of the milk was to have better consistency and texture. 
Um, I chose goat's milks over cow's milk because it's easier for dogs and cats to digest and goat's milk also has higher protein. However, water absolutely could have been used instead. Also, I put in the kibble because I was using this as a meal and I wanted to make sure FIFA still got all of her vitamins and nutrients. Wait, stop the motherfucking music. You, are you dumb? This was the consistency after blending it for about like 30 to 40 seconds. It's thick enough for me, so I'm going to boil it now. I just was crushing up the um, the dog food. Look, looks like little graham crackers. It's so cute. Well, actually, that looks kind of nasty to be honest with you. Never mind. After adding the granola and remaining seven blueberries, I fried the egg in a non-stick pan with water on high heat. I tried my best to keep the integrity of the yolk, but unfortunately, it did end up scrambling just a little bit. I used a spatula to gently scoop it into the bowl. I sprinkled it with some dried yolk flakes left over from the pan, and ta-da! This is the final result. I love how vibrant it turned out, and I'm really glad I used the egg instead. I think it also was a better choice because sometimes FIFA turns up her nose to bananas, so eggs um, were a much more favorable choice for her picky palate. <laughs> this is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have um, another Sagittarius themed video up next week, so please subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll have a link to my Thanksgiving dog safe turkey pot pie if you'd like to see a Thanksgiving themed meal. And I hope you guys have a great day. Happy holidays for those celebrating Thanksgiving. And bye. Girl, you eat all your food? Yeah. You eat all your food like a good girl? Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so cute.